Welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a little different because you're not going to look at my face, but we're going to look at some data on COVID together from Our World in Data. Our World in Data aggregates information from a variety of sites around the world. I want to look at data regarding these six countries, South Korea, India, Japan, South Africa, the United States, and Australia. I've chosen these because they represent different types of population, different population density. Shown here is the population per square kilometer. Also, they have varying vaccination rate and most significant, a large difference in COVID death rate. This first graph is the new confirmed COVID-19 cases per million people. It starts from January of 2020, which was when the coronavirus first took off up until today. Now, I'm going to move the slider to spread this a little bit. But you'll see that the largest spike in this data set was in March of this year. We're going to get to the current death rate per million. But before we do, I want to look at the current variants that are circulating in each country, as well as the current vaccination rates. These are the variants that have been sequenced as of November 21st. I did not go all the way to December 5th because several of the countries have not reported at this time. But looking at the six countries that we want to discuss, Australia is having about a third of BA5 still, a third of the another BA2 variant, and then about 20% of the BQ variant. South Korea, interestingly, is having mostly BA5. South Africa is having the same, 80% of BA5. Japan, BA5. Now, the United States is seeing some BA5, but is almost equal parts of the Omicron BQ1, and that is increasing. And in India, the XBB is the almost universal virus that is circulating. Okay, so looking at vaccination rate, this slide is a little bit busy, but I do want you to notice that in this area, this is the percentage of people per country that have had at least one dose. In the lower left is the percent that have had, um, the percent that have had a complete initial protocol. So that would be either one or two of the doses, depending on which vaccine. The lower right is the number of booster doses given. And then the upper left is the number of vaccine doses given per 100. So we can see currently that Japan has administered almost 290 doses per 100 people of population. The lowest would be South Africa with only 63 per 100 population. And you can see the difference. India second from the bottom. United States at 192 is in the middle, as is Australia. And then we see South Korea and Japan at the top. And moving to the right, the share of people with at least one dose. South Korea is 87%. Japan with 84%. South Africa is still at less than 40% of their population has had at least one dose. As for boosters, you'll see South Africa at the bottom, followed by India. Here in the middle, in the booster doses per 100, is the United States. They haven't updated data recently. And then Australia, South Korea, and Japan is doing quite a number of booster doses, actually 100 booster doses per 100 people. I think the key point for me here is that since the first of this year, let's say January of 2022, the vaccination rate has been pretty steady in the, as far as the percentage of people vaccinated. Yes, people have been receiving boosters, but it's been consistent that South Korea and Japan are the most vaccinated, and at least in this group, India and South Africa 
are the least vaccinated. So now let's move on to the COVID death rate. On this graphic, we see it's charted from the beginning of COVID, January of 2020, up until today. And I'm going to scroll this forward till the time, as I mentioned, that this is when vaccines started. This is the winter spike that we had, the end of Delta and going into the Omicron variant in, in the United States. We can look at the variants at that time. This is March 14th of this year. And as you can see, the Omicron BA2 was the predominant variant in India, South Africa, approximately 50% in South Korea and Australia. But it had not yet overtaken the BA1, which was in Japan and the United States at that time. But if we look back again by January of 2022, South Korea and Japan had a very high vaccination rate, which has not changed much. So let's look at the spikes for this year. I moved the slider up to just look at the numbers for 2022. Australia did have significant for them bumps in death rate in January and again in July going into August. India's death rate has remained flat the whole year, as has South Africa after a early January surge. Japan has had three waves, and South Korea has had a large March-April wave, and now somewhat of a surge starting again. The United States, after their large January Omicron wave, has remained fairly steady between one and two per million. But let's scroll forward to just the past couple of months. And this is the thing that confuses me that I, I would like an answer to. South Korea, Japan, at least at this time, have the highest per million rate of new cases. India's rate is very low. I don't know if that's a data error but we see the same numbers for some period of time with them. Also, South Africa is at the bottom. Then we see Japan rising, United States somewhere in the middle with South Korea and Australia. So what variants are going around at this time? Well, as of August, as we said, most of the variants were the Omicron. So as of the end of last month, the largest percentage of variants was the Omicron BA5 variant. And five of the six countries we're looking at, the Omicron XBB was the highest in India. And Australia had a mixture of BA5, B275, BQ1, and the recombinant, which is a combination of BA1 and BA2. So that's what has me puzzled when you look at population density, vaccination rate, case rate, and death rate. I'm having a difficult time seeing how those all line up. The World Health Authorities all say the most important thing is vaccination. I'll leave it at that.